This is just a sample of the training available at ITDVDs.com. To see complete training, please go to ITDVDs.com. Let's begin the sample. With Windows Server 2012 R2, they really didn't take anything away from what Windows Server 2012 had. They kind of just added to it, gave us some new navigation, and I think made it a bit easier to navigate a server operating system. So the first thing we'll probably notice is a little start button down here. Well, it's kind of a start button. All it really does is take us to the start screen. So if I click on it, it's going to take us to the start screen. So before, when we were on the desktop, we had to put our mouse just right in the lower left-hand corner and go to the start screen. Or we could get to the charms bar and go to the start screen that way. Or, of course, hit the Windows button. So we can also hit the Windows button, go to the charms bar. Uh, we can still do that, but now we have this nice start button here. It's a bit easier to hit, especially when you're using remote desktop, because as server administrators, a lot of times we spend a lot of time in remote desktop. So to put our mouse in the little lower left-hand corner was a bit difficult. So now we have this nice start button. So we also have this down arrow. The down arrow here shows all of our apps. We can use the up arrow, go back to our start screen, Go back to our desktop this way, or we can put our mouse in the lower left-hand corner here, and we can see our little start button shows up again. That'll take us back to the desktop. Now, another nice new thing is if we right-click on our start button, we get this nice menu here. Now, we had this before with Windows Server 2012, but it was a bit harder to hit because you had to put your mouse in the right spot, then right-click, and hopefully this would pop up. Now, we can just right-click on the start button, and it pops up. So, we can launch... Our usual uh, configuration tools here, we can go to Task Manager, Control Panel. A nice new thing is that we can actually shut down or reboot our server from here. So I can shut down, restart. Before, we would have to go over here to our Charms bar, may then go to Settings, and then shut down or reboot. So now we just right-click, shut down, or restart. If I right-click on our Task Bar and go to Properties, we've got a new navigation tab. So this allows us to do even more configuration to get our server operating system just the way we want it. The first two options here are going to be to enable or disable the upper left hand and upper right hand hot corners. So if we uncheck this, it will make the upper right hand corner not show the charms bar like it does now. You can see that. And this one, the upper left hand corner, allows me to switch between recent apps. So if I don't want that, just uncheck it. The next option, we can replace the command prompt with PowerShell in the menu. So this is when we right-click on our Start button. You can see I've got PowerShell. A lot of times this is what we want because PowerShell allows us to run anything we could run from the command prompt. But if we want that old command prompt back, just uncheck it, I'll click Apply, right-click, and now you can see we've got the command prompt instead of PowerShell. Down here we have the option to go to this desktop instead of the start screen when we sign in. So this would be more like the Windows 2008, 2008 R2, and every previous server your operating system, that was how it worked. We signed in and went directly to our desktop here. With Windows Server 2012, we'd go to the start screen. So depending on what we want, we can configure it here. We can always show the start on my main display when I press the Windows logo key. So this has to do if our server has multiple monitors hooked up to it. If we want the start screen to always show in the main display, then we check this. We can show the apps view automatically when we go to start. So right now, if I click on start, it goes to our start screen. To get to the apps view, just click this down arrow. This shows all of our apps. If I want this apps view to show, by default, just check show apps view. And I also have the option to search everywhere instead of just my apps when I search from the apps view. I'll just click apply. Now when I hit the start button, it goes to apps view. And if I search, let's say I type in computer, it's going to search from everywhere, as you can see. Otherwise, we had settings and files options. So let's go back to our desktop. And finally, we can list desktop apps first in the apps view when it's sorted by category. So all these options just make it a little bit easier to navigate Windows Server 2012 R2.